Welcome everyone. Today's video will be a guide on how to qualify for the AVO airdrop. So if you're not familiar with AVO, it is a derivatives DEX that exists on its own layer 2 optimistic rollup and it offers both perpetual futures trading and options trading. So I've created a sheet to estimate how much the AVO airdrop might actually be. So if you're not familiar with AVO, basically the team that created AVO have another project called Ribbon Finance. And what they're doing is they're doing a token conversion from the Ribbon token into the new AVO token. And so 45% of those tokens will be given to the new AVO DAO. And so the current market capitalization of the Ribbon token is $485 million. And therefore, the value of the DAO tokens is $280 million and $250,000. So here it says final airdrop value. I'm trying to estimate how much of those DAO tokens will eventually be airdropped to users. And so in the AVO docs, they put here that up to 16% of the AVO that is held by the DAO is earmarked for incentives. So that includes an airdrop as well as um, other ways to disseminate the governance token and attract more users and liquidity to the platform. So I assume that's token incentives. Um, so up to 16% could potentially be for the airdrop. I think 16% would be way too high and it's more reasonable to estimate a lower amount. So over here where it says percentage airdrop to users, I've estimated from 1% all the way up to 10%. So if 1% of those DAO tokens are airdrop to users, that total airdrop will be worth 2.18 million. 2%, 4.3 million, 5%, 10.9 million, and then all the way up to 10% at 21.8 million. Now, if we assume that the airdrop is equally distributed to the 65,000 users of AVO, and so if 1% of the DAO tokens are airdrop to users, that would be $33. 4%, $134, uh, 8%, $268, and at 10%, it would be $335. Now, this is very rough napkin math, but it will give you an idea of how much this AVO airdrop could potentially be worth. And just one last thing to note is that, obviously, I don't think the airdrop will be equally distributed to everyone, as it's likely that the airdrop will be allocated depending on how much you've traded on AVO, your deposits, the amount of time that you've had money on AVO, you know, that sort of thing. And obviously everyone's activity is going to be different. Okay, so let's actually get started with AVO and deposit some funds here. So we need to go to the AVO website. Remember, I'll leave a link in the description down below that will give you 10% off on fees for the next six months. So we head over to the portfolio tab and then deposit. Now, I've got all of my funds on Arbitrum that I want to deposit onto AVO, but obviously you can do any deposits that you want from Ethereum, Optimism, or Arbitrum. It will be cheaper to do deposits from Optimism and Arbitrum, so just keep that in mind. So uh, I'll go on to native USDC here, and I want to deposit the max amount, which will be $998. So I'll press approve, and then I'll have to sign this transaction. Let's see how much this will cost me. So this is my spending cap. And let's actually sign this transaction here to bridge some funds over. So 22 cents. If you're depositing from Ethereum, it's probably going to be a lot more. Now, once you have your money deposited, we can start playing around with the exchange and doing some trades and potentially qualifying for an airdrop. So you want to click up here, first of all, and we'll go onto the perpetual futures market and we'll do some trades here. Obviously you can trade futures and it will definitely put you in a good standing for getting an airdrop, but I won't be doing it in this video as it's just much easier to explain um, the perpetual futures market. And I haven't even bothered trading options myself. I think you'll be just fine by trading perpetual futures here on AVO. So there are a number of different markets that you can go ahead and trade. There's at least 30 markets that you can trade here, but I'll just be doing Ethereum for now. So I'm on the ETH perpetual future and let's just trade $1,000 worth of ETH and I'll press place order. And there we go. I'm in. That was just super quick. And if I want to just close my position, I can press this X here or I can go up to here and then just press how much that I want to close. Let's just say I wanted to close $500 worth. Just press reduce only. 
And there we go. My position value is now worth $496. And let me just close out the rest of that like so. So there we go. So obviously you're putting yourself in a good position to earn a potential airdrop the more that you actually trade on AVO. And so I think what the criteria might be here is that the more volume you put through, the more of a potential airdrop you'll actually be getting. Now, obviously there's a caveat to that. So you can't be doing wash trading. So you can't be opening up positions and then closing them instantly as that will count as wash trading. And I don't think the AVO team will like you doing that. And so your best bet is to probably just use AVO as you would any other decks normally. So if you want to place a trade, go ahead and place a trade on AVO versus say like Binance Futures or like DYDX. Another thing that you can do here with AVO is that you can use it to trade pre-launch tokens. So for example, you could trade the Jupiter airdrop. If say, you know, you've got an allocation of 1,200 uh, JUP tokens coming your way and you wanna sell those tokens before the actual airdrop date, you can go here, change this to JEP tokens, and then short sell your JEP tokens here. You could also just do this as to just lock in some gains. Perhaps you think that 64 cents per JEP token is overvalued, and so you just wanna lock in some gains here, and you reckon that you can buy back in lower. Obviously, you can do some options trading here as well, but I won't be going into that for this video. Another way that you could potentially be getting an airdrop is by utilizing the AVO savings collateral. So what they have here is AEUSD. And so AEUSD is an exchange whitelisted collateral asset with a 100% collateral factor. So basically, MakerDAO have released their own version of DAI called SDAI. So that stands for savings DAI. So that's a stable coin, but it automatically earns yield because they're using the stable coin deposits in order to buy US treasuries, which are giving out yield. So they're 100% backed, but they're also giving out yield to the holders. And AVO has their own version of that called AEUSD. So what you can do, you can press earn here. And then you can convert some of your USD balance into AEUSD. I think it's been hinted at on Twitter that AEUSD holders will also be getting an airdrop as well. And so it's all about just putting yourself in the best position to potentially be getting an airdrop. So I've got $101 here sitting on AVO that I can use as trading collateral that is also earning me 4.75% APY. And so just to round this video off, there's one last strategy that you can do to really up the volume that you have here on AVO. So let's just say you wanted to get some more volume in on AVO and you wanted to trade the ETH perp. So what you could do is you could go long $1,000 worth of the ETH perp, right? And then you could head over to another Perpetual Futures Dex like Hyper Liquid, for example. We'll go on to sell short and then we'll short $1,000 worth of um, the ETH perp here. And so what we're doing here is we're creating a delta neutral position. So effectively, that means that the value of Ethereum could go up, down or sideways. It doesn't really matter because you're long offsets your short. And so the value of your $2,000 will remain exactly the same. So Ethereum could go up 10% from here, and it would mean that the value of my Ethereum long would go up 10%, and it would mean the value of my Ethereum short would go down 10%. But my $2,000 would stay the same. And so that's one way you could increase your trading volume and activity on AVO without really risking much money. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one.